What is going on, brothers and sisters? Welcome to a first look at Merchant of the Six Kingdoms. It's going to be like a first look and review at the same time. I did put like maybe about an hour or so into the game. Uh, we definitely need a lot more merchant style games out there. And I think this one's really going to fit that niche well. However, there are a few things that really need to be hammered out. Otherwise, it will not stand up for a casual player. And what I mean by that is there's no ledger and we'll get into it as we play this game however there's no history of your buy and sell transactions um pricing is not standard it's not like you can always get this price from these individuals and the only way to keep record is if you have a physical notebook on your computer or on your desk to keep track so i think if the developer put in one of two things an automated buy and sell ledger where as you buy things from merchants, it will tell you what you bought and what you exchanged it for, whether it was commodities or cash. And that would be for buy and sell. And then the second option would be kind of like a manual ledger that you have to do yourself. Now this game does have difficulty, so I think both would be a fantastic option. The, the automated one for your standard playthrough and then for a higher tier playthrough of difficulty, a manual ledger that you have to keep track of yourself as if you were actually doing this. So enough about that. Let's jump into the game and talk about it here and really get to experience some of the fun that this game has. Hello. Turn that music down in a little bit, but I'll do that for now. I haven't seen you before. What's your name? Uh, obviously, we're Shabby Doo. You should know Hi. me. I can tell that you were truly born in the Swamp Bog. What brings you to the market? I want to make a large <laughs> fortune. <laughs> Who are you? Edward. Travel the Six Kingdoms as a merchant. Now I barter for a modest profit here in the boon. Can Hi. you teach me? Sure. I'm no teacher, but a merchant will become anything for the right price. Give me the statue and I'll teach you. Can you cut me a deal? Now, let me just tell you all this right now. If you played this demo before you watched a good old Shabby here and you gave him the snail statue, just uninstall the game. You're not meant to be a merchant, okay? Being a merchant's all about the barter. It's all about getting the best deal. You never give them what they want because what they want is probably their high. It's like what they really hope for. No, cut me a deal. Ah, you're already learning for the gloves then. Seems like a fair deal. Ah, just, I still, I still ah. can't pull that. All right, my own way. How about an onion? Not interested, goodbye. I'll give him the deal so Dang. we can do this. Fine, let's do this before I change my mind. People only approach merchants when they need something. Ask them what they are selling or buying. So what are you ah. buying? Merchants are always interested in coins. So remember that, merchants always want coins. So. They don't want your stuff. They want your money. And transversely, they don't want to give you money. Uh -huh. I'd say a few loaves of bread is a fair price for the copper coin. You can accept or haggle from me. Here's the haggling. I'd say, like, he wants to give me four. Why don't I ask him for six instead? You know, I'll ask him for seven. Offer. Ah. Not an awful offer, but not the one a merchant can accept. All right, how about six loaves? Hey. Hard deal, but but a fair one for both of us. Remember, the customer should never leave too happy. So you see what I did there? He offered me four bread for my copper coin, and I said, I see your four bread. How about seven? He said no, little high, brought it to six, and he accepted reluctantly. I got 50% more bread because I bartered. Never accept the deal, unless it's something you really need. You can give a final offer to haggle a better deal, but if it fails, the customer will walk. Sounds smart. You should conceal that amulet. Magical items, and items have a transitive property in the bottom. You can see this one has magic and amulets here. Magical items are valuable, but don't let the guards find you. I'll keep it hidden. These sacks will help you carry things. When when the weight becomes too much, you'll need pack horses to pull your items. Thank you. Uh, this map will help you find your way around the region. For, look for new maps to discover new markets. What do I do now? Start by bartering for food. Everyone needs to eat. Find a farmer and buy as much as you can. Um, All right, merchants need each other. I, it only makes sense to help each other. Care to hello. barter? So, are you buying? So he he would like this statue. Ask for an Hi. offer. He wants to give me forty five lentils. Like, what's a lentil worth to, to him, right? So, like, let me ask you. Like, if I asked for you know five lentils, ask for a price. He'd give me that for two wooden bowls without a haggle. What would he Hi. give me for one wooden bowl? Hi. 
some grains. Interesting. So, like, one big thing is to find out, like, what people find in the value. So, like, if I throw up a copper coin, he's like, I'll give you eight lettuce. Ask him again. He's not sure. Be careful because if they say they're not sure after you ask for an offer, the option becomes gift, which I've accidentally clicked a few times. Like, you'd give me eight lentils for a copper coin and an onion. So, I could probably say eight lentils to him is worth about a copper coin, right? So if I sold him that, but I'd rather get gold and I'm not going to get gold from this guy. I want to give him money to gain other items. Now you can see here, rare maps unlocks markets. The markets are not available in the demo. I bought quite a few of them in my hour playthrough just to kind of see what was there. So let's see, what can I get for, why don't I see about this parsley? Like all the parsley. I can't because I'll be overweight bring that down a smidge ask for yeah. a price everything i own is not enough for all that parsley so parsley seems quite expensive ah. not interested what about 10 of them Aye. holy crap like literally he wants all of my goods for that i don't need that map but like that's that's a lot so i'm gonna hit ah. never mind there and i'm gonna just say goodbye oh any advice uh. i recommend bartering in food until you get the hang of things find a farmer Good and buy boy. as much as you can yeah all right, hold on. Let me fix some of the volume here. Okay, that, Im was that like Im immediately turned it off for a minute. Okay, that's better on my ear holes. Next Hello. customer. So we got a stranger here, so we can ask them who they are. So this is Mackenzie the Adventurer. You travel in the realm in search of adventure and coin. What do you um, need? A strong sword I can trust with my life. So it's always the same thing, as you can see. Uh, is there not adventure in coin and um, air? Well, there's coin, all right, but the fray doesn't even allow monster parts, although it's not uncommon for it to be smuggled in. Okay. So, and then you learn more about the world and its intrinsic value, like, all across, because merchanting's all about peddling. So now I know monster parts are forbidden within the fray, the place, and they could be smuggled in, so I could sell those for a large price there. However, it's not gonna be the best deal for us. So, she's probably pretty loose in her cash. These are working gloves. What if I sent you a map? Huh? You would give me two copper coins and a naga? What's a naga worth to you? Eh? Like seven potatoes? Eh? Or four potatoes and six loaves of bread? Eh. And then she's not interested in bartering with me anymore. Um, interesting. What would you give me for the map again? Huh? Only one Naga this time. Let me see. What about this statue? I would trade the map for a statue and probably not feel like I'm getting a loss. I'll also just kind of throw in some heartwood arrows. Oh, I'm overweight. Shoot. Oh, man. Gotta get... This will only increase my size. I need to get something to pull us around here, huh? So what if I did a Naga and the Tenju? And I don't want to, like, give everything away. You know what I mean? I want to make sure I get, like, a no in the Rye offer. No. That's not good enough. Okay, I'll get rid of the Rye. Ah. That's almost enough. So I'm going to give her a final offer because she's kind of telling me she's close, but it's still rough. Deal. Fine. Boom. So that was probably a really good deal for us. We don't know what these are worth. However, I traded the map piece for them. And after you trade with them, sometimes you'll be able to see what's concealed. So we can see here that they have an enchantment Carnotham. I don't, it's a pointy hat apparently. And I guarantee I don't have the money for this. Ugh. I can't afford this. <laughs> okay. What would you give me? What would you want to charge me for this? Eh? Uh. See, I don't really want to trade my food, I don't think. Not yet. So, I'll, I'll pass. So, good, goodbye. Goodbye. So, now the day has ended. So, we'll pack up for the day. Game saves at the end of the day. And you can see here, these are the places we can go. So far, only Daphne Coast and Warg Bay are in the game. There's other areas that you can't see on the map that you have to purchase maps from other merchants or adventurers for which is an awesome mechanic however they're just not available in the game yet 
you can see if I click here, available in full game. So I would love to see the full game of this. I think this will be one of the best merchant games around if like a few things can get hashed out, especially for like a common populace. But for me, I, <laughs> I'm all in, baby. I'm loving this. So we can begin the Monday or look at our journal. Here we can see what our title is, how many quests we've completed, the completion rate, days passed, markets, people met, 201. It's flipping amazing for one, okay? Because every person is going to be kind of different. Myth players defeated. So myth is a card game in this game, and it's actually a pretty decent card game. Like, I was surprised. Normally when I see games that have card games in it, they're trash. This actually has some bones to it. It's good. Items collected, and then you can also search by tags. So let's return to the map. Let's begin Monday. So we could just grab the next customer or you can also visit people in the market here. So I could go to like Edward Hello. and be like, hey, what's going on, brother? Like, I want to give you a copper Hi. coin. And he's like, I'll give you eight cabbages. How, and I'm like, how about 11 cabbages? No. And he's like, nah, bro. And I'm like, how about 10 no. cabbages? He's still saying a hard no. What if I did like nine and two lettuce? Oops. No. Eight and two lettuce. Ooh. Give me a little more. Final offer. Bam. Got rid of my copper coin for for eight cabbage and two lettuce. Good deal. Mm. Any advice? Um, Do you have any coins? Like he, they want coins. So like me bartering for good my goods with him is not going to be a good deal. So good goodbye. Boy. And then there's a blacksmith and another merchant, but I don't need anything from either of them because I just have like peasant items right now. Uh, Who are you? John the farmer. Oh brother. Oh, God, he's got no coins though. He's only got three. Ask for a price. He would he would take four candles for that. How about if I did like two candles? Uh, Too much. What if I did like two candles and a loaf of bread? Uh, and two onions. No. And I don't accept. And a third onion. No. Okay, hold on. I'll give you three candles. Uh, Perhaps. Final deal. offer. He took the deal. Okay. So I gave him three candles for three copper coins. Uh, I mean, I don't really know what else I really want from him. Oh, you know what I could use? A war dog. That sounds cool. Animals. Uh, this would be able to increase my weight. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have an offer for me, so it probably means I can't afford it. Mm -hmm. Probably means I can't afford it. What if I, like... Uh. Not a chance. And then the candle. Uh. Yeah, like, we're so far off in a chicken. uh, -uh. Are you daft? So, like, we just don't have the capital for him, and that's fine. So, mm -hmm. when's the best time to buy food? The season of harvest, of course. Everything from fruits and veggies to fish is cheaper during the harvest. And we're in the season of seed right now. Okay. What do you need? You could use some gloves and boots. Okay, let's see. Gloves. Ask for an offer. Holy shit, he's going to give us a ton. So, those gloves are obviously worth a bit. I'd rather get cash. However, chocolate cake... Increase that to like two chocolate cakes, and it looks like I got them with like everything else. And I'll throw these other mushrooms in here. I'm um, way overweight. I can't even accept this trade. Goodbye. Let's just say goodbye. Next Hello. customer. Stranger. Who are uh. you? Zalia, just a wanderer in search of things that are fantastical. She looks quite evil, so I bet she likes this amulet. Hmm. What do you need? Do you, do you have any amulets? Are you seeking magic items? I won't say yes, but if you have something to show me, I'll keep it our secret. Very nice. Okay. So, buying. Mm -hmm. She would like that huh? bread for two coins. I'll keep that in mind. So, to her, roughly four bread is probably worth a copper. How about this? Huh? She would give me straight up four silver. What if I ask for four, five silver and a copper? Too much? No. What if I got rid of the copper? No. Too much? Let me go... And, I, and I've kind of figured about six or seven copper is roughly a silver. But it's, again, it's the individual's value of an item, which I find super interesting. Ah. A little more and we have a deal. No, final <coughs> offer. Ah, suck it, nerd. All right, we got some more cash out of her. And uh, uh, do you want anything? She, it looks like she just kind of wants my bread. So, like, what if I asked her? What if I, like, gave her all my food, right? Huh? She'd give me 20 copper for that. What if I just asked her to throw in a silver too? No. No deal. Like drop that by like two. Ah. A little bit more final Damn. offer. Bam. Okay. Remember, final offer doesn't always go through. We're just getting kind of lucky. We're probably like really on the cusp of her accepting. 
All right, cool. We're gaining cash. I've got 24 copper, five silver. Is there anything of hers? What are you huh? selling? So she'd sell me a hell pig. What, what, what's your huh? price? Wow, that's that's probably a super expensive item, huh? Croissant. Uh, pff, what if I just got rid of the gloves? I feel like the gloves are very expensive, though. Ah. Can you meet me halfway? What if I throw in, like, a copper coin? Oh. Nearly willing, final ah, offer. Okay, deal. cool. Chickens are probably expensive, but I think that's a sick deal. We're, we got a bunch of monster parts from all over the world. And there is an, um, I think it's an alchemist. Eh? A book, History of the Realm. What, what do you want for that? That's a big expensive book. See you Goodbye. later. So far, like the kind of people I found were farmers. There's noblemen. There's alchemists, sages. So yeah, hello. We got the blacksmith, mm. George Smith. There's also like uh, fabric workers, blacksmith from Boone. Mm. What do you need? Always in need of ore. Mm. Best place to find ore and gems. Anywhere with mountains, air, Kazujan, ingress, rocks, even Kai. Very well, very well. So what are you selling? Okay. He's got a scimitar of lies. Interesting, that sounds quite expensive. Huh? Oh, oh, oh man. Um, I do know nobles like statues, so I really want to try and hold on to that. And nobles seem very loose with their coin. Ah, jeez. What, what if I offered you a silver? Huh? He'd give me a box. Oh, that would help my size out a bit. Oh, what does he have here? He does have a donkey. What do you, what do you want for this mule? Okay. Holy shit. What if I gave you, like... Two silver. No, one silver 15. Yeah. Two silver 15. Mm. Three silver uh, 15. Four silver 15. Deal. Okay. Ooh, what is this? A rare holy scourge. So now our weight is higher. So now I can bear more product, which is nice. Do you okay. have anything else for sale? Oh my God. This, I don't, uh, I can't afford that. You're out of here flipping mine. A fancy elven bugler. Buckler nah. also don't think I can afford that. And. How about black tea? What's this? A hunting foot trap? Interesting. He has ores, but those would be too okay. expensive to get from him. Holy crap. All right, we're out of here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Pack up. Start the next day. So I ran into the farmer, and he has a sack, which can increase my size a bit. So I want to kind of see what that's worth if I try and give him the gloves and maybe... Like, I can't afford all this because my size is still... Not enough. What if I did something like this? Obviously, I need to probably drop, like, let me drop all this quinoa off. Huh. You trying to ruin me? Let me get rid of those. Huh. I'm sure these are very expensive. Get rid of the wheat. Huh. Is this a joke? How about the celery and the parsnips? Uh -uh. How about everything else? Uh -uh. All this. Uh -uh. Or my daft. Okay. How about I get rid of that? You trying to swindle me? I mean, yeah. yeah. Kind of. No. Sorry. Goodbye. Okay. I pissed him off. After a while, like, if your deals are so bad, they will leave because they're offended. Hello. So another merchant has arrived. Astraldo, what do you need? Packs and sacks. So I, I don't have any. Any advice? Everybody has something to sell for you at a discount. Like, she wants this chair. What would you want for that? Like, literally my livelihood. Here's another new customer. Here's Robin the um, Fletcher. She would uh, like shields, and in her, pair, in her opinion, nothing compares with the Heartwood Arrows. So that's nice. I would like to see, like, uh, doesn't seem like she, I really have anything of hers that she's quite interested uh, in. Huh? She, like, wants these gloves, mm -hmm. and she'd give me 39 wood arrows. What if I offered you a sofa? Mm -hmm. So... So she's giving me roughly 50 arrows for a silver. Huh? Or 90 arrows for five coins, for five copper. Huh? So like, see what I mean? Like 55 copper, maybe roughly a silver in her eyes. Goodbye. Goodbye. I need to get rid of all these monster birds. Who are you? Joseph the Miner. So what do you need? Gloves, lanterns, shovels, and picks? Anything useful mm -hmm. in the mines? Where should I travel for cheap gems? West of Notting Hill is a city called Kajujan. I 
have heard rare gems are as common as granite. Nice. So how about some working gloves? Ask for an offer. So he's gonna, he, he willing to give me a ton of stuff. Some boulders, some pebbles, like all in all, roughly really useless stuff to me unless I could resell it. However, we can maybe try and get a basis here. What if I grab like all this iron, that lead in like five? I, I don't want to be too much to make him offended, but I don't want to accidentally do like too little where he accepts immediately. Uh, Not a chance. Okay, let me get rid of the lead ore. Uh, Need a lot more. Let me drop like four copper. Uh, Three copper. Uh, you made me halfway. What if I also threw in like a copper coin? Uh, Alright, let me drop an iron. No. Can you give me a better deal? How about one? No. No? I don't think I need anything else from so I'm just gonna final off for you. See you later. Next Hello. customer. Stranger. Here. Mary the Baker. What does mm. she need? She needs cinnamon or nutmeg, so it looks Here. like she likes baking spices. So we don't really have much for her. Are huh? you, would you buy anything? You you would want monster parts? Eh? And she'd give me some bread. Interesting. What would you give me for all your cash? Hmm? That's a lot. I feel like that's a terrible deal. See Goodbye. you later. Hello. Stranger, yeah. who are you? Eve the Assassin for hire. What yeah. do you need? Looking for potions and poisons. Mm -hmm. How much coin does an assassin make? Coin bountiful. But the work is hard to find. Yeah. So what are you buying? <laughs> yeah. You can't think of anything? Yeah. yeah, I figured as much. What if I gave you, like, the gloves? Huh? She'd give me four copper. What if I asked for six? No. Five. Oh. A bit more? That looks pretty rare. I feel like... I should just try for this. Finally. Yeah. She took it. Cool. So that was good. So I'm just going to move on Goodbye. from you. I'm really Hello. looking for the alchemist. Uh, oh, here she is. Cassandra the alchemist. She's also got some beautiful eyes. I love the art in this game too. Super good. Cassandra, I'm an alchemist. What do you um, need? Mushrooms or snakes? What kind mm -hmm. of ingredients do you use? Monster parts, although animals make decent substitutes with a base of plants and other botanicals. Huh? It's like she wants our Naga. What's your <laughs> offer for that? She would give me a common balance potion and more solution. Yeah. What if I wanted... I doubt I could get all this, obviously, Ugh. but can't afford this. Uh. What if I want hmm? this? So she'd offer me all of that for these two. What if I just said for that? Ah. I can't give away this little for that. I feel like I'm getting bilged here, but I just don't have enough. What if I just asked for a gold coin? Uh. Yeah, I can't afford it, huh? Ugh. Definitely too expensive for me, okay? Hmm? Yeah, she really wants to give me that, but I'm trying to see what else I could maybe get to make this worth it. Uh. She'd also throw in all of these. So maybe the solutions could be a good price. Huh? Two common stamina. Okay, so what if I did this, this, and I ask you for that common stamina potion right here? No. That's not going to be enough. What about a common balance potion? Ah, Final deal. Offer. Ah, yes. Okay, I feel like I got a good deal out of that. Getting some more cash so we can go use that with the merchants to increase our products here. Eh. Uh. She's not sure, huh? Interesting. I don't want to gift it to you. What if I asked you for this vase? Deal. Fine. Ah, I might have just got swindled a bit. I guess I started too low. But that's good. That was some more storage for us, so it, it worked out in the end. Not the best workout, but that's okay. Yeah. Huh? You're selling. I don't think I really care about your potions right now. What if I ask for these? Oh, I can't afford that. Goodbye. All right. Goodbye. Let's start a new day. All right. I've been playing for a little bit here, just trying to gain some items, gain some cash. And I finally ran into William Rockley, the noble. Nobleman of Boone. What hmm. do you need? Could use a new statue. How do you hmm. become a nobleman? Pretty simple, actually. Own land. What? Well, let me just ask. Huh? What are you buying? What do you want for that? Like, so he'd give me 20 copper for that. Honestly, let's try asking for like 35. No women are super yeah. loose with their cash. No. No. Let me try 30. Mm. 29. Uh. 28. Mm. Perhaps final Goodbye. offer. Damn it. I shouldn't have final Hello. offered that so soon. All right. You can see we got some more stuff here, and I got William back. Huh? He wants this snail. Mm -hmm. Ask for an offer. He'll give me 15 coins. What if I ask for like 19? No. 
How about 18? Uh, I don't want to lose him. Deal. All right, there we go. 17. Decent deal. Got a little extra out of him there. I also wonder what else. Oh, how about the noble woman blouse? Mm. Not interested? Huh. What are you uh -huh. looking for? He would like salt. Huh? He'd give me nine. If I ask for two silver instead. Uh -uh. No. One and three? Uh -huh. One and two. Mm. It seems like... Deal. All right, cool. I was gonna say, it seems like he values silver coins more than he does copper coins. Might be able to play that to my advantage. <laughs> He's interested in the rare king trumpet mushroom I bought. Yeah. I, I don't know what I'd give him for that though. Huh? The work huh? boots? How about this? What if I just want your entire stack of copper coins? Huh? Okay. What if I just get rid of the brown eggs? I, I feel like I'm okay with that. I'll throw in a silver just in case. Deal. Okay, cool. I'm glad I threw that silver in. So now we've got three silver, 69 copper. Nice. What if I want like 10 silver? Huh? He would buy like all of those from me? Hmm. Uh -huh. Wait, never mind. What, did, what about a gold? Huh? You take all this for a gold? Uncommon. What if I drop the butter and the eggs? Uh, I'll give him a final offer on that. There we go. Got a gold back. So now I've got a gold. Two. And how about some silver? I want like... 25 silver. Hmm. Maybe I don't have much for him. Huh? Okay, so for 20 silver, I could literally... Oh, my God. And he wants all my cash and gold out of that, too. It looks like I don't have, like, that much left for him. Uh. For that junk. Yeah. Like, I'm willing to sell mm. all this to him. Final Deal. offer. Okay, cool. Now I can use this to restock up. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to take you over to the next map here. Goodbye. So why don't we just hit goodbye. Let's pack up for the day. And let's just go take a little exploration here. We'll head to Daphne Coast. Taxes and tolls. It'll cost me six silver to get there. That's okay. Hello. Hello. Would you like to win some copper? Huh? I'm the bookmaker for the horse race every Tuesday. You can win a lot of copper with a little luck. I'm feeling <laughs> lucky. While you're at it, you should enter one of your own horses. Interesting. How much is the prize? First place, 60 copper. Second, 15. Third. How do I um, enter? Races Tuesday, just bring a horse and five copper. How much is the prize? Um, oh, we already know that. Hello. Care to so who are you? Mm -hmm. So now we got a quest to win a horse race. Nice. Uh, he is the president and famed gambler. Mm -hmm. What do you need? Anything? I just need to get rid of some of this copper. So we can... So he's a merchant, so Giles Cooper will get rid of all of his copper. So, like, he would be super willing to get rid of his copper coins. Nah. Huh? So, like, he, he'd be willing to do this kind of trade with me. Now, if I figure... See, in my eyes, this is probably worth, like, nine. If I brought you down to like 50 and got rid of this. Huh? He'd give me eight. He'd take eight of my what if I asked, what if I said like seven? For 50 copper. Does that feel like a good deal to me? It does. Um final offer. Deal. That does feel like a good deal to me. Alright, so Runa Rock, so what else does he have here? What, what would you no. be interested in buying? I don't have anything. He has some stuff for me, but not too much. So like, oh, what, what? let's talk about myth here for a minute. So actually I'll head to the other town. So I'll do a little buying and selling and then I'll go show you all myth after we do our horse race. Okay, I did a little trading and waited until Tuesday. I also bought a horse Hello. so we could try this. Uh, yeah, I'd like to enter a horse. Mm -hmm. Excellent, which horse would you like to enter? this horse is that this not count as a horse oh there we go like that offer i'd like to enter this horse uh, all right and five copper coins Entry. excellent what's the name of the horse uh shabby goes mm. the bidding starts in a few minutes followed by the race you'll only be allowed to bet on your own horse Goodbye. got it 
Hello. King of coin, pardon me. I am to understand you have entered a horse into the race. Why do you ask? Mm -hmm. I'm betting on this race, and I don't like to leave things to chance. I would like your horse to lose this rest. What do I get? I'll pay you 100 coins for my cooperation and discretion. Do I? I think so. Deal. Deal. Doing business with you, better to win coin than to win races. Goodbye. Yeah, I, I agree right there. I'll take 100 coin to lose a race. Hello. So Shabby Goes has a 14 to 1 odds. Can put a win odds. Placing odds is 7 to 1 and a show odds is 4 to 1. Wow. I don't have a great horse, but that's, that's not a bad horse. All right. Um, insider mm -hmm. tip. Toss me a copper and I'll tell you something I don't tell everyone. Jackpot was sick yesterday. Well, recent finishes, third, first, fifth, fifth, first. Mm -hmm. Explain the odds. You bet one at a two to one, you get the original one plus two coppers. Okay. Yep. Um, how about I, I'm just going to put myself on. Hmm. Uh, I'll put five coins on myself. Why not? Deal. Begin the race. Betting is bad, okay? I should have just bet myself the place, but this is honestly not not terrible. Like this is pretty cute. Like you put a horse gambling in here, you put we've got card games, which we will go take a look at right after this before we end this little episode. But guys, brothers, sisters. If you did love this and you do want to see more, make sure you're smashing that like button down below, leaving comments as well. And if there's a lot of hype about it, we can try and reach out to the dev, or maybe the dev will catch our game on here, and maybe when access becomes available, maybe we can get into a more in-depth version. That's just not the first two cities. There's obviously still a lot more I could be doing and trading. However, you know, at some point it does end. Leave. Oh, no, we lost. We were supposed to lose, so that worked <laughs> out for me. Better luck next time. Thank you. Take my horse back. Here to barter. You uh -huh. buying anything? He would like my rare allspice nice. for 12 cod. What if I asked for 16 cod? Mm. Deal. I can't make that deal. Final offer. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> Sucker. All right, I do need some quick coin before I leave, so let me hit... What is this? Demands war. Do I have a war card? No. What is this? Fine. Goodbye. Let me hit goodbye here. Let me just grab a customer. This is a be the beggar. He mm -hmm. likes copper coins. It's like if I offer him one. I'll pay you back after the next horse races. Nobody is as lucky as you. Fine, I'll, I'll gift it to you. <laughs> goodbye. You be a good boy. Um, uh, What are you buying? Mm -hmm. This is the merchant. Oh, I don't goodbye. really want the merchant next. No. Ooh, who are you? Uh. I have no name, only targets. All right, he's an assassin. Um, My swords are growing dull. Do you have anything sharp and deadly? I don't. I can see you've gotten legendary creatures, though. This guy's a great hunter. Legendary gems. Wow. Hey. He, he wants my broccoli, though. Broccoli is fantastic for travels, so... He does have a lot of coin. If I wanted all of your copper, what would you give me for that? Wow, you take most of my stuff. What if I just, like, drop off a cake and a chive? Uh, Final offer. Cool. Got all of his copper there. What about for five mm -hmm. silver? You'll take these. A chocolate cake. 14 trout. A chive. What if I drop like three trout here? No. Uh, no. Mm. No. Looks like we were pretty much already at the bottom of his uh, offer. Yeah. Final offer on that. I'm just looking for coins so we can go travel right now. And what if I give you this ask for price okay so two coins would give me that what if I wanted three coins okay so then I could probably increase this to like maybe seven yeah nice very nicely done all right cool we pretty much emptied out all of our good stuff here so uh, let's say goodbye and let's pack up for the day we're going to need to get to Warg Bay. However, it's too far to travel because there's no direct passage here. So I got to head back to Boone, pay seven coins to get there because we're a schmuck. I'm going to pack up for the day still. And then we're going to head right to Warg Bay for three more silver. This is why I stocked up on a bit of silver too. Hello, Hello merchant. Care for a game of myth? Yeah, let's play. <laughs> Select at least 12 cards. Okay. So one, I'll grab my water. 
sun, two moons. I'll do one fire. Ice for sure. Love. I don't know how many cards I have right now. Okay, and then... I think this will be decent. Let's play. So I just bought those cards. We'll explain the rules as we go here, but I did just want to show you what the card game was. Because I think it's really good, honestly. Like, for being a little side activity in a game, it actually, it's good. All right, so how do I win? Each player, each card gives you power. First player to 10 power points wins. See, power, power, power. If neither player has a move, highest score wins. What does demands mean? Um. Demands must exist on the field before playing the cards. For instance, plants require sun and moon. Oh. Destroy means those cards are removed from both fields when played. So be careful not to destroy your own. <laughs> Sky cards must be unique on the field. For instance, there can't be more than one moon on the field. That'd be crazy. Before the game starts, we redraw a card. Which card would I like to redraw? I'm thinking I'm going to uh, get rid of peace. No, wait. Demands moon. Demands clouds, demands plants. I'm gonna get rid of harvest. Um. All right, that's pretty much it. Now we can just take turns until one of us gets 10 power points or until we run out of moves. Okay, and it was my turn first. So I'm going to go with moon. Uh. So he played the stars. So stars and moon couldn't be played again until one of them was destroyed. I'll play uh. love. He's got dreams. So I can play the sun, which destroys stars and dreams. So that's actually no. massive play right there. So he just played stars, which removed my sun, but that's okay. I will play peace. Mm -hmm. He played love. Destroys ice and plants. Destroys fire and clouds. Um, I'll play water. Okay, destroys ice. Play fire. Ah. He played fire on top, and then I can play this for the win. Oh. Ten points, baby! So, and that that's the basic of the game. However, there's tons of different cards in the game. You can see from what I played, there's also, uh, right here, there's a prey card, for which demands plants. There's a war card, which demands madness, which therefore means there is a card for madness and it destroys peace. So therefore there's madness. So there is some depth to the game and a deck has a minimum of 12 cards. I just wanted to show you guys that. Just another little piece Goodbye. of the game here. And we can enter the win the card tournament on Wednesday. So why don't we just do that real fast? I'll skip some days. All right, let's begin our Wednesday here. Hello. Yep, pay the 10 Ugh. copper coins and select 12 cards. So I'm gonna do some peace demands plants which one is this demands clouds but no lightning i'm gonna play the lightning and then we'll get like two water sun stars a moon two fish two plants ice love okay, i think that'll be decent enough for me myth weekly championship nice look at all these people in here we got a whole championship title to fight for all right, I'll go first. I don't usually like the first move, but. And I'm going to get rid of, I've got a lot of plants here. So let's get rid of one of the plants. All right, cool. So I'm going to play water. He played some clouds. I'll play ice. He's got stars. I'll go for fish. Mm -hmm. He got rid of my eye, so he played fire. I will do sun, because that'll ah. get rid of his. He played plants, so I'm going to play a harvest, which will destroy ah. his plants. Use time. Uh, now I can play my plants for two more points, and if he doesn't make me lose anything here, which he did not, all I have to do is play something that doesn't make me lose any points. And that's water, which also made him consequently lose three points. So, huge win there. All right. He won 11 to 1. What a what a chad. All right, roll the dice. All right, he goes first. That's a lot. I'm going to do... I'm going to get rid of my second piece. 
So he played stars. So I'm just gonna have to play water. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Dreams destroys fire and clouds. I'll play ice. Um. He played more dreams. We'll get fish in. Um. Oh, good. So now we can destroy like all of his points no. there with our sun. He got rid of ours by playing stars, which was fine. We can play the Ooh. moon, mm -mm. which means now I, oh, he has love. So I can just play Ooh. peace on my own here. Oh, he got rid of the moon and peace with time. I haven't seen that card yet, so I don't actually know what it does, but clearly it gets rid of peace and love. Oh, so we're probably going to lose this one here. Mm -hmm. He played ice. I have no moves. He played dreams. Uh. I have no moves. I'm out. <laughs> you got me. Good fight, brother. Good fight. So I got to learn all the different cards to find out some good synergies Hello. there, but it's, it's a good little game within a game. I'm actually super impressed by that. So just to kind of recap on a few of the things I was mentioning, you know, it doesn't bother me as much. However, I love merchanting. I love bartering and I have a pretty decent memory for what things were worth. So for me, not having a ledger isn't the biggest deal. However, big picture is that not having a ledger of any sort of stance is going to make it very hard for your casual player to play a game like this and to be able to get into the merchant genre. I want to see more games like this. I want to see games like this succeed and get more people to play them, which is why I wanted to show you all this, this demo. And, it, you know, I think, like I mentioned at the beginning, if we get a, one of two things or even both, an automated ledger where it details out what you bought things for and how much you bought them for as well as what you sold and how much you sold them for and you can kind of look at and and also to whom because the who is is huge in these games real merchants in these times had detailed ledgers who they sold things to for how much so they could keep track of their transactions because you know selling a donkey to the farmer is going to have a much different price than selling a donkey to a merchant or a nobleman so it's very important so I think an automated system for that would be amazing. And then on a harder difficulty level, I think having a manual transaction ledger would be fantastic. And if your ledger was like kind of wrong, it would actually affect you in the game when you got further into the kingdom. Like maybe there's some taxes that get enabled and you have to submit your ledger to the king or it could be reviewed in random events. And too many big missing things could be indicative of poor merchanting and therefore could could therefore land you a fine just some neat things to think of i love the direction of this game i love all the different items there's so much to do and i can't wait to see what's available for the other quests and all the different towns again let me hit goodbye, goodbye here you know if you look at the journal these are all the towns and a bunch and we got seven more undiscovered ones here 17 quests to complete Hello. if i show you some customers let me Goodbye. see if i can kind of fly through Hello. a few here that may have maps i found a lot of maps at this place here Goodbye. previously Hello. on a different playthrough like right here so map of the west this would unlock another market so if we ask mm -hmm. for that price i'm just gonna say accept ah, i'm gonna hit goodbye i'm gonna pack up for the day and now we can see i'm not sure which one it was was it i think it was the oasis that maybe just opened up but purchasing that map opened a new area for us to get to. However, none of those things are available in the in the demo. So maybe when the full game comes out, we can kind of delve into that a little further. But like I was saying, brothers and sisters, if you really want to see more merchanting, profiteering, and haggling, make sure you smash that like button down below. I would love to make a huge series on this going day by day. Oop, sorry, Mike gave out there. Going day by going day by day. And really delving into the bartering and just winning so much cash and just pillaging everybody. So if you want to see it, hit that like button down below. Double check to make sure you're subscribed while you're there. And until next time, I hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.